Hey guys, welcome back to another Graviteam video. Today we're doing more AI maneuver control experiments. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure you like, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the video. And let me know what you want to see. So every, essentially what we're doing is we made all of these squads. They have no orders, no commands. They will not shoot at infantry. Fire at wills turned off and maneuver controls turned off. However, we're going to give them all separate commands. So let's do that. So let's click start. And so this first squad, we're going to give a move command. This next squad, we're going to give a defense command. The squad after that, we're going to give an assault command. And then the final squad, we're going to give an attack command. So let's get going. And let's hit play. All right, so every squad shouldn't has everything turned off which means they shouldn't shoot at infantry they shouldn't shoot at airplanes fire at wheels turned off target designators are turned off and maneuver controls turned off so i want to see what happens this time because i've tested this video a few times and if fire and if infantry is turned on they're still going to engage the enemy from what i've seen so now that i've turned that off we're going to see how they react so what we should have here are a bunch of drones that should only listen to micro commands so let's review that so our move guys, I believe my move command has no smokes turned off. My defense command, they should be def they should defend down here and pop smokes when they get in their defense position. Assault guys normally pop smokes on the way they on the way to the assault, so I'm not quite sure. We can always verify that by right clicking and then right clicking and see smokes are turned on. And our attack guys should pop smokes when they come under attack, but let me make sure what my attack command is set to. Smokes are turned off, so we shouldn't see any smokes from them. At least until we tell them to. All right, so right here we have our initial engagement. Um, no one shooting, D and this is defense. This is actually our defense squad. So even still, so like right here, so no matter what, if they come under attack from what it looks like, the computer automatically turns down this turns on this fire at will but are they engaging with um, fire infantry turned off so right now the commanders are telling their units to fire at will but they're only popping smoke but they're not engaging the infantry from what it looks like let's check our move command our move command they're just moving they're not engaging in anyone and let's check our assault command same thing, same thing we have going on over here is the computer has begun to turn the fire at will on. Um, oh, that guy, did he get shot or what's going on? Because that's an enemy unit, so I'm not sure what took him out. All right, fi full fire at will's been turned on, but no one is engaging. All right, and let's check our attack squad. They are full on just prone because everyone's come under fire but they're not engaging with anyone so let's check on these guys all right so no none of our units are going to fight anyone so if we had fire infantry turned on they would begin engaging so let's take a look at that let's start with our move squad they're still moving so let's say we say fire at infantry and just like that since the AI turned on fire at will and we turned on infantry or fire infantry, they should begin to engage targets. Let's give them a moment for the message to get to the troops. Let's grab our defense squad and do the same and say fire infantry. Let's grab our assault squad. Currently, there should be no commands right now, right? So our, de our defense squad is the first one to engage. So, no, these are still the assault guy or defense guys. They're intermingled. So, I wonder, let's just send these guys over here with no command, but only, but not shoot at the enemy. Let's see what they do. All right. So far, no one is engaging. And I think that's become obvious at this point with, if this is turned off, your units aren't going to do anything. And let's check our attack squad. So, even if we gave these guys an attack command up here, they are never going to engage infantry, which I mean, that can be surmised from our other videos, but we wanted to do a bunch of testing and just see how the units reacted. 
Um, and if we just say engage infantry, they begin engaging the infantry. And so there they go. I think we really got the conclusion we were looking for. Because, I mean, w I've explained that in other videos. If you have fire at will, maneuver control, and engage infantry turned off, that they're not going to shoot at anyone. So if you just want a completely useless drone squad to do absolutely nothing other than die and take bullets, you need to have all of these turned off. And even if you give them an attack order, if there's no engage infantry turned on, they're not going to attack anyone. So I don't know if that answers my viewers' questions. I know he was wanted to know what would happen if we did more maneuver control, more micro. And I don't know what would happen if we had only this turned on. But if we turn this on, according to the manual we're going off book right now, this essentially gives them um, control because you're giving the AI control to like move into cover um, and start fire. There's like, I, I forget the pages, but there's like two paragraphs on it. So I hope that answers your questions. I know kind of a weird experiment. I d so far, I think what we can surmise from this conclusion is your units aren't going to attack unless they're properly designated to attack. So in, in the previous videos that I recorded, if I still had infantry turned on and just gave them a move order, this is all this is going to be from what it seems how the code may be written is the computer prioritizes this over everything else. So if you have all three of these turned off, there as long as this is turned on, the the AI is gonna start attacking. And I mean we could like test that like in like two seconds we could just turn this back off and give them a move order so let's grab our move squad and watch them shoot and let's just see if we turn that off and see what happens so like right they've just immediately stopped engaging and if we turn it back on they're going to start shooting at infantry again i i don't know if vehicles are lumped into that or if they're lumped into aircraft so if you come across a recon unit or a tank i'm not sure which one of these it'll be um, I guess we can test that in a little bit, or maybe tomorrow. Anyway, if you watched this far, kind of droned on. Have a wonderful day.